grab a Those are you. No. Let's make our way up and see what we've got protein-wise. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness gracious. Isn't it? Goodness gracious is all like, I, I could say good gravy. That's a good southern phrase. Good gravy. Like butter and biscuits. It is butter and biscuits. I think we got a crab eggs. Oh my goodness. Wild boar chops. Oh no, this is just a whole rack there for wild boar. Look at these tomahawks. Boy, that is a theme this week. Holy cow. Oxtail. We're working our way down. We've got Angus loin. Some outside skirt steak. Short ribs. Oh, I am seeing some major ham going on too. And that's not talking about the cook's character either. We got a lot of characters in barbecue. It's a fun sport after all. As you roam through and see the teams, you'll see all different styles of cooking techniques, tricks. They even bring granddaddy's secret to the table. But here's the wonderful thing. We have five regional grand champions that are going to go head-to-head -head at the Sizzling Showdown. Now, they've already picked their pick in order. We drew it out of a hat, so they randomly got their number. Who's first? You're first. Now, what's your name, what's your team name, and where are you from? Contagious Q, Kingsport, Tennessee. Yeah, baby! Go balls. you got to say it when you hear Tennessee. Go balls. I love it. Kingsport, Tennessee. Now, second team. Who, where are you? Second team. All right. Wolves for Ben, Richmond, Virginia. I'm seeing an eastern seaboard right up there in the mountains. That's awful close. Y'all are almost neighbors up there. We won't ask about family reunions. Here we go. Who's number three? Lucky's Q, Waverly Island. Now, Lucky's Q, you've been here before. What did you do when you were here before? 2012, we won it. The grand, the grand champion of the Sam's Club National Barbecue Tour. That's like the Masters. You get a green jacket and everything, right? I tell you, you never lose that title. Champion of champions. They go three rounds. 750 teams competing nationwide in a tournament-style format. It's like the NCAA basketball brackets, but for barbecue. They get whittled down over three rounds. They get to the final 50. This man and his team won it all. That's a heck of a feat. Now, you're, you're number five. Is that right, James? All right. Big Papa Smokers. Now, where are y'all out of? Coachella. <laughs> Coach, but y'all are the West Coast offense. Y'all are bringing in California style and all that fun Three stuff. West Three West Coast offense teams. Now you got some Iowa and stuff too, but y'all are the true West Coast originators. Y'all are bringing it to the table. Yeah, we won Tucson and Baby. Absolutely. And last year, y'all did something in brisket. What did y'all do, Sterling? A perfect, perfect. A perfect, perfect 180. Absolutely, every judge said nines across the board said that brisket was perfect. To do it in this crowd and with master judges, that's a heck of an accomplishment. I, I don't think it carries over. You got to re it re ups. You know, there's an expiration date, whole take it out of the fridge, throw it away thing. Yeah, it's that kind of thing. But I tell you what, Bill, I would love to hear what you've got here with all these different proteins. You've got all these wonderful proteins on this table. Tell us what you got. Abel, help me out here. So we've got a lot of good proteins. We've got the wild boar uh, that we flew in on Wednesday uh, for this event. Uh, we also have a tomahawk over here. We also have the oxtail. The oxtail, yeah. And we also have boneless chuck short ribs. Boneless chuck short ribs. Right here. Here you got a culotte. Cool we got a culotte. Cool we also have flat irons. Flat irons. You have a center tablet. Center tablet, top foot, top foot, a fillet. We have a fillet. beef tenderloin fillet. What's our time? You have. Uh, we'll, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll get back to the time here in just a sec. So you have some skin on outside skirts. We have some skirts up here. You have bone-in strip loin. Some rib short ribs. You have some king crab legs. A full shoulder picnic. You have a ham, and you have a full loin. So the full loin is a good challenge. So you guys, uh, some of you culinary experts out there that like to get a full loin, that's yours right there. Mike, anything else? No, thanks, gentlemen. I appreciate you explaining it all. Now, for the teams, y'all had some questions. I want to explain y'all uh, what you're going to be serving. And to make it fair, we're, we're trying to make it a fun event, and y'all not having to bring platters from home and things. We're going to serve in a 9 by 9 styrofoam box, same like a competition. Your uh, optional sides and optional garnish. 
I repeat, optional sides and optional garbage. The judges will be instructed. It's a, a wonderful meat contest to feature in on what you're going to do with these uh, wonderful, unique proteins that you may not cook every time or every day. Now, the turn-in time is the exact deadline time that y'all were given in your notes and when you, your team was contacted. So when y'all get there, you got to bring it to the stage by that time. I'll be visiting your site individually to go over and explain anything that you may have questions about, but you can cook on whether it's grills. I don't care if you're using Bubba Feeds with coolers, hot water, and, and, uh, and um, Ziploc bags. Whatever technique you want to use, it's free for all. Just produce the best protein up here that the judges like, and you're going to walk away the champion of the Sizzling Showdown. Fair enough? Simple enough. Thank you very much. Now, the first team, what we're going to do is we're going to split this up into two tables. I'm going to slide the beef short, short ribs right over here. And I want you to pick one protein from that table and one protein from this table. Both have to be turned in. Both have to be turned in. I'm going to ask the teams, would you all like two turn-in boxes? Done. Two turn-in boxes will come. One from this table, one from that table. First team, step up and make your choice of both tables. Done and done. Second team. Now he chose the tenderloin and the Alaska King, uh, King Crab Legs. I'm seeing the surf and turf in our future. Now what did you grab? You grabbed the boar? Okay, the, the wild boar that was flown in Wednesday. What are you going on to over here? Pork shoulder. He wants the pork shoulder, Abel. He's got the pork shoulder. Well, once you have your product, you can go in just a moment. We're going to make it quick, so don't think you're working out your arms. I'm not going to hold you there for a long time. 13, let's go ahead and pick. Abel, what, what is that one right here? Flat iron. Flat, Flat iron. The only square state. I can't wait to see these big pieces of pork come back and what they're going to do with them. This is going to be wonderful to see how they break them down. There we go. Now you're free and clear. Fourth team, step right up. Come one, come on. I'm like at the carnival, aren't I? Eeny, meeny, money. Hey, Mo. J Star, fresh off a grand championship. He's going after the Tomahawks. He must have been working out to carry him back to his thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the lid does not have to close, gentlemen. A pair of taste, a pair of taste and tenderness is what they'll grade, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. And we're moving on. We're moving on to the fifth team, James or Sterling. Which would like to choose? Please come up. What do we have here? What's this? What's that? That's a lot. I got two hours to cook them. Mm -hmm. I want to see you do the half pork and the. There you are. You're picking <laughs> James and Sterling, putting their minds together here. What are they going to produce? Here we go with your pork choice. Are you ready to roll? Yeah. What happens if we don't make turn in? Then you don't win. <laughs> it's just that simple. Just like in a competition, you're making turn in. You're one second. You're one second late. Now, remember, big pieces of meat. You be carved down to little pieces of meat, fellas. Be smart. They're not going to fit in a nine by nine box. Gentlemen, start your engines. You're off. Go. We'll see you at turn in. The, um, uh, for these, I'm going to cut these guys into a uniform shape. And one. Not enough to do. I guess I'm going to do a, uh, a king cut on them uh, and uh, going to sous vide them uh, with uh, some spices and flavors. And we're going to hit them really quick on the end uh, on, on the hot grill uh, to uh, give them a little bit of color. Uh, so uh, that's plan number one. For this piece of meat over here, I'm trying to decide whether I should be daring and take a shortcut. Uh, how would we feel about carnitas? Uh, about uh, doing pork tacos? Uh, that's. Uh, uh, wide open. It's, it's, it's wide open. We've got stuff on the truck to potentially do that. Um, i got to think about that. I'll be. That's the worst thing feeling to have to, on time. I 
hate that for them. I hope it works out. But um, as far as the as far as the event itself, what we're going to do here, we're going to go through these, what you made and what process you did to cook it, and we're going to have the judges up here. You're going to walk around the edge with yours, bring it up, and present it at the table, and tell me what you cooked. Fair enough? Easy pickings. All right, y'all stay here with your with your items. Judges, if you'll follow me. Um, my name is Casey Higgins. I'm a certified executive chef of the American Culinary Federation. Uh, born and raised in Fayetteville, but I've worked uh, abroad. I uh, just got back from the Virgin Islands, and I'm now with Sam's Club as a fresh food manager. Wow, fantastic. Godmother of barbecue needs no introduction. I'm Carolyn Wells. I'm a student of barbecue. <laughs> I'm Barry Baber, and I'm what you call the wild card. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a singer-songwriter. But you like food, right, Barry? I do, and I grew up just outside of Memphis, Tennessee, so I'm, uh, I'm excited to be here. And great. And taste this wonderful stuff. Well, we're going to have you as a tough critic, the wild card. We'll see what the judges think. Number one, team number one, come on up with your two boxes. You want to show the crowd as well, if you'll give them a little hold it up and show. There it is. He had the option of putting side dishes in, option of putting garnish. He chose to garnish there too. Oh, and you have the king crab. If memory serves me right, you also took the beef tenderloin. Yes, yes, I took the king crab and the beef tenderloin. And what we've done here is a uh, surf and turf between the two. Uh, we got a, a, a wet herb rub that we put on the beef tenderloin and uh, did a reverse sear with it. And uh, then we made a mushroom brandy sauce reduction to put over it. And uh, we poached the uh, crab legs in water and then gave them a sear on the grill. And then ran them uh, through melted down compound butter with herbs also and garlic. That looks fantastic. Now reverse sear, number one, could we get some forks for the judges? We do need, and maybe some napkins. Barrett looks like he's a little messy. I'm just saying the wild card. We'll get some waters for you as well. No worries, Carolyn. Now, tell the folks out there where you, well, reverse sear, first things first. Reverse sear is where you smoke it and then you put it on high heat to sear. Is that what, am I right? Yes, that's, that's correct. We attempted it. We didn't get as much of a sear on it as we were hoping. What type of fuel were you using? Wood? Charcoal. Wonderful. And as far as your team name and share everybody with where you're from and your backstory. Our name is Contagious Q. We're from Kingsport, Tennessee. And, uh, oh been competing now for since 2013. 2013. Well, you put a great effort here. We're going to have the judges taste it. We'll give you your critique. If you want to, you can go on and, and go back to the missus and your cook team and we'll give you your feedback. Feel free. Uh, the crab leaf is pretty phenomenal. Uh, perfect amount of butter, not too oily on there. Um, very nicely seasoned. Um, like you called it on the reverse sear, still lacking a little bit of the sear. But, um, a nice job overall in the tender wine. A little under season, I think, on the sodium side. But uh, you can really tell the uh, brandy kind of pulls some of that back from the mushroom, so that's a very nice compliment on the brandy there. Terrific. Carolyn's still chewing. She's got her mouth full. Barrett, do you have some thoughts? Well, I mean, I'm, I can eat this every day. <laughs> this is, uh, most of the time, as a, as a singer songwriter, I'm trying to make them, I find myself eating Kansas Spam and, uh, you know, uh, you know, something real simple and cheap. <laughs> ramen. There's a lot of ramen knife, but this is amazing. Uh, I love that on the uh, on the tender one. There's like a there was a sweetness on the front end, and it, and then that was I don't know if that was the mushrooms or um, or what, but it was fantastic, really good. Just easy. Didn't even need a knife. You know, take a bite out of it and just fall right off there. And on uh, on the crab leg, uh, same thing. It was, I thought it was excellent. Um, it's just, it's some, some of the best food I've ever had. I don't, know, I don't know how you even judge this kind of thing. It's so great. Well, we got five contestants. I know. I'm like, to I don't know what I'm going to do. All right. This is amazing. Oh, fantastic. Sounds like it's hot. I thought the crab head was good. Uh, the texture was excellent. It was perfectly done. I love the beef where it just felt, it didn't fall apart. It tore nicely mm -hmm. without a fork and it was um, without the without a knife and the mushrooms were a great compliment. Get an image of what you have prepared for the judges. Asian stir This five. is the ooh and ah segment of the show. Ooh, ah. ah. Whoa, whoa. And some 
four ribs or four uh, rack, of, rack of four. Now let's explain, give a little your name, backstory, and also what you did for the judges here today. Hey Mike, I'm Charles Crimmon with Wolf's Revenge Barbecue. Uh, we're from Richmond, Virginia. Uh, today yeah. we got the, thank you. Uh, today uh, we uh, picked uh, a whole shoulder and uh, we also picked uh, a, a rack of boar. Well, we decided to do with the rack of boar as uh, we carved it into uh, individual uh, steaks. Uh, we put them in a CV with rosemary and thyme, uh, let them sit there until they reach the perfect temperature, then put them on the grill just to get a little bit of color on the outside. Uh, that served over top of a uh, baby arugula uh, and a Parmesan salad with a uh, lemon dressing that's on the bottom. And uh, then we also have the, uh, uh, the what I did with the, um, uh, the leg, uh, the shoulder. I went and I found the muscles that I know that the judges really look for in a competition. I dug deep and I found the tenderest muscles. We sliced them thin, we put those in the sous vide uh, with some ginger and some garlic. Uh, then uh, uh, when it gets cut plus turn in time, uh, we put them in the pan, we stir fry them, put the vegetables in there, and we've got a mushroom teriyaki sauce that we hope will complement that for you guys. I think he did that on one breath. That's impressive. You know, if, if your food tastes like anything, you're going to have layers of flavor. The description is definitely layered. Fantastic. Sous vide, for those that don't know, is a water process, cooking it up, bringing it up to temperature. Typically involves a plastic bag, water, and, and a circulator. So excellent job. Showcasing all your cooking talents there. Let's see what the judges think. I love Amy at all. Um, I appreciate the step outside the box though. I think the wild boar is a, a good selection there. Uh, the flavor turned out great on it and seasoned very well. The arugula is a great complement with the acid in it, so that balances out very nicely. I uh, also appreciate Big Deep for the, for the muscles out of the shoulder. There's a lot of muscles in the shoulder if y'all haven't broken down a whole lot, but you gotta really, it's a tedious process getting into those prime muscles. <clears throat> um, Overall, our dish is a little, a little tough, uh, a little under seasoned. The ginger didn't really shine, but um, overall, it's not a bad dish. I really like the boar chops, though. Those are nice. I thought the boar was delicious. It's, um, it, it, it has an herby, um, what are rosemary? No. What herbs were in there? Rosemary. Rosemary and thyme, you said. It's perfectly complimented of you. Um, and I also like the stir fry. The vegetables were just a little too, not crispy in that. Uh, but it, uh, the overall flavor was very, very good. Okay. Yeah, wow. Well, the, uh, I remember the first time I harvested a wild boar. It was, obviously I haven't. Uh, last week. Last week. <laughs> last week in the swamp. But uh, wow, this was amazing. And uh, I think, uh, Excellent, excellent on the on the wild boar. It was uh, the the uh, rosemary and thyme. When you when you take a bite, it kind of hits you on the back end. But then also, I think what was important for me was to was to try some of that uh, arugula salad with the with the lemon um, that you did on it. And that acidity of that lemon sort of even brought out the flavor of the meat even more. And that's how I'm, I'm kind of eating it as if I would a meal, which is I don't eat one thing at a time. You know, take bites and stuff at the same time. So that was great. And then uh, up on the uh, on the stir fry, it just for me it wasn't Asian enough. I, like, when I heard Asian stir fry, I expected there to be some sort of flavor explosion, but it was uh, delicious. The tenderness of the meat was was amazing. It was certainly good. I was, I, uh, like you said, as far as I think with the ginger maybe it didn't quite pop as hard for me. To uh, medium rare and uh, sliced and seasoned again, and put it back in its own juices. And then the other one is a pork shoulder that I took the money muscle actually off of it and smoked it first and then wrapped it up and got, got it to a high temperature so it's tender. And then I made a fresh pico uh, with a uh, fresh cilantro and then green peppers and onions that are sauteed in butter that are put on top for a little crunch. Judges, if you want to dive in and try it out, give the feedback for the for Lucky's Q. I'm from Waverly, Iowa. We've been competing since 2010, and this is our third trip down here. We really like this contest. So. Third trip to finals out of six years. That's a good percentage. If I had that batting average in the majors, boy, what would I be making? That's terrific. Thank you very much. We appreciate your lucky skew. Share your comments as you have them. Barry, it looks like you've got some time there on your hands. Hands are in your pocket. You're not chewing. I'm a big fan of this. This is good stuff. The uh, I really like it because it's um, all the things that go with the meat. 
uh, with with sort of the that flavor, that Latin flavor, and it is so great with the um, um, all of these different flavors. The pico is really good. It's, there's just enough little, a little bit of heat, not too much, and you kind of get that pow on the front end with the tomato, and then there's that meat flavor on the back end. Both of them are really excellent. Nice blend, highly complimentary. Um, they actually were very, very good. I enjoyed it a lot. And the preparation on both the meats was outstanding. Flat iron's awesome, ham is tender. Um, phenomenal flavors, nice, nicely seasoned. Only thing I would say is to differentiate the two from each other. They don't have a lot of the same components. But that would be my only suggestion. But Thank you, Casey. Phenomenal. Thank you, Casey. Wonderful. Well, team four. Oh, he's going one-handed to show you both at the same time there. Ooh and ah, right there it is, folks. For team four. Team four, come on around and share with us what you did for the judges. Now, I have a question. There was a specific rule on six portions in the box. Share with us, too, what you've done here in the box. Um, I had the uh, cowboy ribeyes, and what I did with those is I took the, uh, the caps off of those, and then reverse seared those, and then uh, cooked them to a to a, a rare, medium rare temperature. It's got a compound butter on top of them. Uh, we also have the whole shoulder, so we went in and we found uh, a nice muscle on there, and again we did a reverse sear on those, and it's got a uh, uh, pineapple jalapeno glaze on top of it. And share with me a little bit about breaking down that whole shoulder. Um, never actually broken down a whole shoulder, so we just kind of dove into it and started tripping away until we uh, found some stuff that looked like it'd be pretty good. You don't have a road map with that once you get in there, do you? Not at all. Well, I tell you, thank you very much, Team Four from J-Star. We appreciate you. Now, hold on, hold on, before you run away, tell them your name and your, your team and a little bit of background about you, what your cooking experience is. Right. My name is Jason Kreese. My team name is J-Star Barbecue. We're out of Smithville, Missouri. I've been cooking for five years. This is the fourth year that I've done the Sands Club tour and the second time that I've been here. The pork, got a nice medallion cut out of that. I like that. The flavors didn't really infuse all the way down to the middle of the pork. The one lacking thing there. The sauce turned out really well. The sweet complements the pork. Uh, on the cap, it's Pinellas muscle. I mean, that's probably the most desired muscle in the cow. One of them anyway. Uh, not something you see in a practical setting, obviously, taking that off the ribeye, but for this, I mean, it's phenomenal flavor. Everything you you would ever want in a piece of meat, right there. That's one of my favorite cuts. Cut them up into medallions, and then uh, collect a bunch of them and make them up for a special dinner. The beef just melted in your mouth. It's oh wow! It was wonderful. The pork was slightly. It seems just slightly underdone to me, but I love the the uh, the heat and the sweet. Did the sweet go well together? Now, I've eaten at the Western Sizzling a few times. And, uh, <laughs> they don't serve this cut of meat there. This, uh, this, this steak is amazing. It's unbelievable. It's, uh, it's that thing that you love about the ribeye. You know, it's just it's kind of fatty, but it's, it's, it was so great. And it had this kind of peppery sort of spicy thing going on on the back end as it went down. And I really enjoyed the pork, too. I, I love that sweet and heat uh, thing with the jalapeno spice uh, combined with the with the pineapple glaze, so really good, both great, great. Now Sterling, tell the folks your name and a little background about your team and what you did for the judges here today. Yeah, my name is Sterling Ball with Big Papa Smokers and my partner James the Flame Perez and I made some uh, Hallelujah uh, flat iron street tacos and then we made, we got a half a split hog, so we got the tenderloin, we caramelized the backside in a little, uh, well, by the way, we used a little cherry Simply Marvelous Cherry and some Big Pop of Little Louis, and we caramelized the back end with some Craig's Texas Pepper Jelly. And then the uh, belly is caramelized in a um, maple cumin lime glaze. Thank you, Sterling. Judges, if we've got your plates, we'll feel free to dive in and give us your opinion. We'll clear these off for you. Dissect it a little bit, the meat is a little under seasoned, but overall it really works because there's salsa on there. Uh, the pork tenderloin, phenomenal, of course it was tender. Uh, the aging process is showing it's got a lot of good flavor into it. And then the pork belly, I mean, my goodness, 
You can't go wrong with pork belly, right? What? You can't go wrong with pork belly. That's the glaze on there. It's very nice. Maybe a little more rendering process, but man. Yeah, hour and a half, two hours is all we gave them, Chef. So okay. they gotcha. definitely, definitely That's, had a short amount of time. Yeah, that glaze is just phenomenal. Thank you, Thank you for that. Kayla, what are your thoughts? I love the pork belly. Um, and I love the street taco. This, maybe I got just a little too much seasoning on it, but well, the pork belly is fabulous. Um, that blend of flavors in there is, I mean, it's beautiful. It's perfectly done. Barrett, what were your thoughts? I like that you uh, that, that there's some guacamole on the street taco, and it really uh, accented the overall flavor. It was excellent. The uh, the tender one was especially tender and, and really really good. That pork belly was was something really special. That had that had just an an explosion of flavors that was like I was trying to think where where is this where what is, where did this come from? It was it was really good. It was a uh, it was an experience. Excellent. Good I can job. see behind his sunglasses from the side here. His eyes lit up like Christmas.